Hey guys, this is Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm going to bring you a tutorial on how you can make a sun in Paint.net, or something that looks like some sort of star in some sort of uh, space environment. So, I am not the original creator of this tutorial. Um, I saw it online, it was a text-based one, and so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video of it. And I'll go ahead and link you the text tutorial at the bottom somewhere. It'll be there. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to create our starry background along with our little blue nebula kind of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a paint bucket tool, color, color the background solid black. And once we have that done, then to add the stars, we uh, essentially just make a noise um, effect on it. So if we go to effects... Uh, noise and then add noise and the only thing you want to make sure you do is turn the color saturation all the all the way down or it'll not look like stars that doesn't look like stars and the coverage um, I'd say for less than one is probably what you want to go for or around one and the intensity is up to you I think 70 or 80 looks pretty good for this Okay, so now that we've made our starry background, we can make our nebula by adding another layer. And this time we're going to be generating some clouds. So you want to make sure that your um, gradient colors are from black to white. Then go to Effects, Render, Clouds. And for this setting, you want to make sure the roughness is down. Some, something sm soft, smooth, blurry looks really nice for this. And uh, you can go ahead and hit OK once you've decided how you want to do it. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to repeat the clouds on, on top of each other until you find a, um, I don't know, style that you like. So I'm going to hit Control F for repeat a few times. And that one looks pretty good. It looks very um, dynamic and um, vibrant. So, once you've chosen your uh, clouds here, you, we need we want to change the color to blue. So if we go to Effects, Color, and Color Filter, and here's where we can change the color of our um, space nebula. You can have red, yellow, green, whatever you want. But I'm going to go with dark blue because I like that color. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK for that. And uh, to finish this step, the only thing we need to do is change the blending mode on our nebula. I'm going to go ahead and rename this actually. Okay, change the blending mode to glow and turn the opacity down until you can start seeing the stars. So let's go about 100. So now we've created our starry background with our little blue nebulas here and there. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add another layer for our map that we're going to use for the sun. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this layer sun. And I'm, I'm naming these layers because we're at the end we're going to have like six or seven layers. And they're just easier to navigate if you have names for them. So, for the uh, sun, what we're going to do is we're going to make a yellow to black gradient. Oops. Alright, yellow to black gradient in our colors palette and again we're gonna add a cloud render so effects render clouds and this time we want to make sure that our roughness is all the way up and scale doesn't really matter so um, you know obviously if you want it more dodgy then you probably load a little bit like 160 or something along those lines so once you finish that and chosen your settings, if you go ahead and hit OK, we will have generated the map for our sun. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a sphere. And if you don't have Shape 3D, the plugin for Paint.net, you should download it because uh, you're going to need it for this. And if you don't have it, then it's it'll probably be a lot more difficult to make it. So Shape 3D is under Effects, Render and all the way down to shape 3D and when it comes up what you'll see is for mine it already comes up and it looks like it would be circular on default it's usually on full sphere map which looks very planar it looks very flat 
So if we go to half sphere mat repeat, then it looks very um, spherical and realistic, or well, more realistic. And uh, for this also, you want to make sure that you don't have lighting on, um, obviously, because the sun is light. It doesn't need shadows and whatnot. So turn the lighting off and hit OK. And before we go on, I'm going to go ahead and smooth out the edges of our sun by adding a feather effects object feather. Throw in a quick feather there. OK. So now that we have created our sun, our background, and our nebula, so the final two things we need to do is create the rays and the surface blending of the actual sun. So we're going to do this in two layers. So if we go ahead and add two more layers, and again, I'm going to go ahead and rename these just to make it easier. I'm going to name this one the surface. And this one will be the rays. Okay. So this is probably the hardest part of the tutorial. So I'll slow down a little bit. I know I've been going pretty quick. The first thing we want to do is we want to change the colors, the primary color, to an orange. I just use the default one on the options below here and um, what we want to do now is we want to make sure our sun layer is selected so if we just go over to layers and click on our sun one so that it's blue highlighted selected and we're gonna grab our magic wand tool and select outside anywhere but the sun so just select the space environment like like so and we want to go up to the surface layer just click one up get the paint bucket tool that we have orange click the outside and right now we'll have everything but the sun is selected as an orange so we want to do the same thing for rays except this time we want to hit control I to invert the selected so now we'll have the inside of the sun selected and if we again just click inside and make it orange the entire um, document or object should be orange Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and deselect the rays uh, layer. So if we just uncheck it like that, we'll just have our, how it was before with just the surface is, is there. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add our Gaussian blur. So if we go to effects, blurs, Gaussian blur, and you, you can go ahead and see that it's going to blur like the edges and the outside in. So um, I guess blur radius, I'm going to say in the upper hundreds, like 150, 160, around there. Looks pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> so if we go ahead and hit OK for that, we have created our inside of the sun, the gradient there. OK. So now that we've created our um, gradient inside of the sun, we don't need the outside. So what we can do is we can grab our magic wand tool go back to our sun layer, click the outside again, go back to the surface layer, and hit delete. So now all that we have is we have our glowing sun with the gradient we made before on it. So the next thing we can do is go back to our rays layer, make sure that it's we, we can select it now so that the whole thing is orange again. So now it should look like this. And what we can do is effects repeat Gaussian blur and now we'll have a rays uh, going out from the sun like like that something like that okay and the final thing that we're gonna do is we're going to change both of these blending layers to glow to make it a little more red and bright so glow and glow and so there we go here's our sun and even if you want it if you wanted to you could Duplicate both these layers by merging them and duplicating them like that. However, you know, intense you want this sun to burn and turn that down a little bit. So uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry if I was going pretty fast. Uh, this was actually like my third time trying to record this because Cam Studio is awful. So anyways, thank you for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies. Please check out our website at th3techies.com and bye. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database 
of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.